In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a little quads passing concept out of the Gun Bunch Halfback Strong and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players they could possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that and it allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. Now if you're new to the channel, like I said, we are uploading videos every single day and we share our videos that can help you get better on offense and on defense. And what we're gonna be doing for you for Madden 22 is we're gonna to commit to doing that every single day of Madden 22 from this day to August of next year. So if you have not subscribed, make sure to do that. And if you're not a part of my true fan membership, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description. It's my Patreon, it's just five bucks a month. And we basically is, a way that I essentially share super in-depth concepts. It's where I share what the MCS, the pro circuit is running, uh, the meta on offense, the meta on defense, how to counter some of that stuff. And I also break down literally film studies and actually break down exactly what a pro player is seeing on the field offensively or defensively in a tournament. So if you want to get access to that, it's just five bucks a month. You can cancel it whenever you want. And real quick, a little promo offer for you for the next couple of weeks. Um, if you sign up for the True Fan membership in the month or uh, before Madden 22 launches, then I am going to give you guys a free, my first offensive and defensive guide. I'm going to give those to you guys for free on the True Fan membership plays page. So if you've not signed up for the True Fan membership, be sure to do that today. Um, it's just a great way to get better at this game. Okay, so let's talk about quads. This is something that uh, most people don't understand. Uh, I find I, I find myself even not necessarily understanding all of the things that I can do from quads uh, passing. And so, to share with you today, uh, I want to put the uh, bench pivot in my audibles, and then I'm actually going to come out in the play Z spot, um, as that's my favorite play from this formation. Uh, but we're just going to come out in Z spot. And I want to show you first and foremost how match coverage works on this play. So I've got cover four quarters uh, booted up here, and we're just going to run kind of the standard way you run this play, just like this right here. And I just want you to watch the coverage. What you're going to see is it's going to turn into cover four, uh, just drop, literally drop. There's no matching whatsoever. And I want to go into this replay and just kind of show you what happens, um, what happens to the coverage. So in quads, um, they don't really match match defense literally turns into drop zone so if you look at this here you're gonna see um, I mean it is matching a little bit but it doesn't really match the outside and so as you can see here this quarter route is gonna be open all day long every time against uh, out of this another one of my favorite routes from quads is this route to the tight end on the drag you see him standing wide open you also see the running back standing wide open um, and so really this is a great way for you to be able to just completely glitch out the coverage now I want to show you another uh, another coverage here I'm just gonna go to two four five odd cover three and I want to show you what a hard flat zone um, does in, against bunch or against quads uh, on this so if you just watch this tight end drag um, this is a hard flat from quads you're gonna see that he stays he does play it but he that's the only zone in the game that I find that plays it so for example if I shift over here to Tampa 2 you're gonna maybe expect that Tampa 2 cloud to potentially play this tight end route but he won't um, you're gonna see here he's gonna let it go just like that and that vertical hook actually played it really well but typically what you're going to get from quads is really the crossing route in my opinion whether it be a drag or whether it be a deep crossing route um, is really the way to go uh, from this formation so you'll see here again this is that cover two you see there he matches onto him um, that's i guess just because there's no vertical threat on that side uh, but what you'll notice that that happens and what that really naturally does especially for z spot is it's something that is very rarely ever going to see because people are going to be adjusting their zone but if you watch the square receiver, he's going to be wide open every time for that post. So quads is really a form, uh, an interesting concept or formation. One of the things I want to shift uh, real quick is what it does in man-to-man. -man. So when you send four receivers to one side of the field, um, you know maybe you do something like this, uh, for example, or maybe something like that. Uh, what you're going to see is when you send four to one side, um, you're really going to put man-to-man -man coverage in kind of a bind. They're not going to have the proper spacing. And what you're going to get, especially if you use drag routes, is you're going to get a lot of man switching. So if I use that drag to X, 
you're going to see here if I did something like this, I just want you to watch. You're going to see, um, you know, some natural man switching over the middle of the field. Uh, right there, we didn't get great spacing. I forgot to smart route that post. But that's kind of the idea. So what we can now leverage is some motion snapping. Um, some motion snapping to make this even better than it already is. And so one of the things that I like to do from this formation is basically an out. And I'm going to send four strong to the trip side so or to the quad side. So you see here we got four routes going to the right. And all I'm going to do is just motion this guy out and snap the ball. And if you look, and of course I accidentally ran commit, but if you look on this play, uh, what this is going to create is it's going to create a lot of problems for them in their zone coverage rules because we really are, are really hitting home the strong side of the formation here. And their user has to use that Z spot route. So you'll see here, this is such a simple route combo, but it's so daggone good. It's impossible to stop this uh, without doing zone drops. Let me show you how this looks in Tampa 2. Just want to show kind of a standard uh, Tampa 2 setup. And uh, again, we're just going to do this combo right here, real simple. Um, you don't you don't even need Hot Route Master to do this, but we're just going to let him kind of set his feet. And now what you'll see is, look at this little option route. Um, and really what you're going to get is you're just going to get a lot of zone conflict. There's not enough zones. And if you think about the way the zone coverage works, especially uh, when we're talking about quads, um, zones don't really play um, certain spots on the field because of the grid system. And so if you can attack that grid system with alignment and with spacing and with everything we're doing from this quad set, you're going to find a lot of success. So now I want to shift gears just for a second and I want to go over um, kind of just a simple way that we can attack Mabel to the right. And really all that is, is we're going to send uh, the tight end to the corner, um, as you can see right here. So we're going to send R1 vertically. We're going to send circle on that out route now, and we're going to now put the uh, triangle receiver on an option route. So real simple, but if you watch how this works, you're going to see here the tight end should get really good separation uh, on the corner, real smooth and real simple. So what we just did was we flooded the zone, and if you actually look at how this works, um, what you're going to find is you're attacking every grid of the zone. You're attacking the vertical grid with the uh, streak to the R1. You could also put him on a fade. Um, you're attacking the horizontal grid to the hard flat with circle. You're attacking the seam flat, and then you're also attacking the yellow zone. So a true Mabel coverage technically has everybody in position to where they can actually defend this. But um, because of how these routes work together, you're going to see here that if I want to throw this out route, I can throw the out route very easily. And real quick, just pro tip, uh, general rule, run your bunch uh, or run your quads to the wide side of the field. That's kind of common sense. So if I'm on the left hash mark, I would flip everything. Or on the right hash mark, I'd probably flip everything. But that's what we get. So now let me show you another concept. And this is where I call um, basically bluff quads. So essentially what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, leverage the power of, you know, maybe a, a concept, a backside pass. So the way we could do this, a lot of different ways we could do this. Um, I'm just going to do it from Z-Spot. But I wish we had a C route. We don't, unfortunately. But if we had a C route, um, I could obviously hot route into a C route uh, if you want to. But I love this solo receiver curl. So what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to run basically a spacing concept, essentially. So we're going to drag the um, X receiver. We're then going to take the triangle receiver, and we're actually going to put him on a um, an option route. Okay, real good read against man. And then what I tend to like to do with the R1 is if you don't want to run him on the corner, you don't have to, you can either A, you could put him on a streak, you could put him on a cross. Uh, I tend to like the crossing route the best, uh, but that's generally what I do. And then I'm going to motion that circle receiver all the way to the outside. And what you're going to see is this is going to create basically perfect spacing in the zone coverage. Um, and you see that these little hitches, little, little spot routes are really good. Um, the corner route is better if you want to create a little bit more space against Mabel. So if you're getting a lot of zone, let me just show you what that looks like from a corner route perspective. So again, I'm just curling the square receiver. This is just something to force them to have to put some more zones to that side of the field is really all we're trying to do with this. But what you'll see is by smart route that corner, now this quads formation really creates some good spacing. Um, and if you look here, you're going to be able to either hit the option route or you're going to be able to hit the spot route uh, to the circle receiver. You can also put it on a hitch um, if you want it to be a little bit more effective. 
And then another way that you can basically run the same thing is what we're gonna do now is we're gonna curl the square receiver. We've got the drag, and then I like the crosser uh, in this example, what we're about to show you. But we have the crosser, and then what we're gonna do with the back is we're just going to put him on a wheel to kind of stretch the zone. This is a phenomenal concept against, against really anything, but especially against zone coverage. Um, especially if they're putting a lot of resources to the quad side of the field. Now what you're going to get is really stretching these zones on the opposite side. Uh, as you can see here, your drag to the X receiver uh, is going to come wide open. Another little way that we can do this um, essentially as a flood concept uh, is, is more, especially if you have Hot Route Master, it's, it's a little bit easier. But what you can do is you can actually create Y cross. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the tight end, we're gonna vertically streak the square receiver vertical, um, and then we're going to put the crossing route to the R1, we're gonna create a post route to the circle receiver, and then what I like to do is either take the running back and put him on a ghost route, uh, a flat route, a wheel route, or an option route. Now typically we're putting him on a, a, um, a wheel route on most plays, so the reason I like the option route is it creates a high-low read, but you feel free to put him on the wheel route, okay? So that right there. And now what we're getting is really nice spacing uh, on the field to, again, essentially flooding the left side of the zone as opposed to the right side, which more than likely is where most of their resources are, okay? So that's kind of how I like to attack that. Another little trick we can do from this is we can use kind of some option routes. So I'm gonna put R1 on a hitch. Circle's gonna go on the cross this time. Uh, and then what we're going to do is just use an option route right there, really going to leverage the power of the hitches. Uh, but then you'll see here we've got this motion over hitch. And when we motion over, we want to make sure that it's on the numbers. That's really, really important. So it's on the numbers. And then you see where it sits right here. Really unique positioning against zone. And then you can kind of throw your crosser. You actually played a little bit better than I thought it would, but you have the crosser uh, as, a, as available uh, to you. And what's really cool about this is if we wanted to create some spacing concepts, really put the opponent in, um, you know, in kind of a bad position, then what we could do is we could use that square uh, out route. So just like that, the little out route. Uh, I think on the drive play, you see he has this little angled post. Um, I know there's another play in here where we could get him on an out route. But anyways, we could just use an out route. And then what we can do on this back side is really create, you know, basically a post. And then I've got a wheel route and a curl. And then I have basically perfect spacing on this play. It's a very good spacing play. You'll see that against zone coverage in particular, there's not a zone in the game that's going to cover the, both the hitch and the post uh, in the out route. So this is kind of some quads passing uh, stuff that you can use. Uh, quads is very unique formation. You're gonna notice that, especially if they're doing zone drops, a lot of the zones will really sit on this Z spot route, which really is gonna open up a lot of room for, um, you know, for this. Another little pro uh, tip, if you will, uh, we can actually take the running back, put him on the wheel route, and then I have Godwin on this curl. Um, just another thing to put stress on them underneath. Um, so you see you really got some good concepts just to kind of work the ball up and down the field It's really good underneath passing and you still always have that Z spot route that is so good uh, From this formation. So thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful I hope you enjoyed it and uh, that's a little quick pro tips on the, the quads passing real quick If you want to get that true fan membership and get that uh, if you sign up before August 12th then you're going to be able to get my off my first offensive and defensive guide of Madden 22 completely for free uh, for our true fan members. So be sure to sign up for that. There's a link in the description where you can get signed up. It's just five bucks a month and you can cancel it at any time.